for you. I got Florida Alex here. is super healthy. <laughs> she is on a diet that is improving gut health. And um, the kale. Oh, this is so good. Florida this reminds me of what we drink. Yeah. Back in the Florida day. Juice. Oh, Florida juice. oh, Florida juice. Sorry, I apologize. I forgot to introduce you. This is Florida juice. Florida juice got a haircut when he was at Disney World. <laughs> Ford and he flirts with everyone. He flirts with everyone at the whole restaurant. The best weekend with Alex and Michael. It couldn't have been better. We um, miss them so much and we're so sad that we only get to see them for like one brief moment. We did plan. I think we're gonna go visit them maybe in Florida in April. Uh, we were trying to plan a trip for June, maybe one in the fall. We always like to plan our next trip for our current trip has concluded. I just wanted to come on here today and bring you guys kind of into my interior design process. So I'm working with an interior designer in Nashville and her team and her name's April Tomlin. I've talked about her on my Instagram stories, but she is incredible. Like next level does all the stars homes. Every country star that you can think of that you listen to, she's done their homes. Like just hero rooms that you've never seen. It's not like a copy of someone else's work. It's like so unique and original and amazing. And you know, this is our first like actual house that we're gonna be living in. So I was like, you know what? I really want to work with a designer and really invest in my home and in these rooms. And yes, it costs money and yes, it takes a while. Um, that's another thing that I've learned. So if you are working with an interior designer, you think, oh, okay, like we'll have it done in a couple months. You feel like, I told April, I was like, I feel like I'm living in a college dorm right now. Like I've got sprinkles of restoration here and there that came in, but like nothing's finished and everything's just kind of like laying around everywhere and the walls aren't the right color and there's lights we need to put in that are in boxes. And she said, that's just kind of the process. We're doing a lot of custom pieces to mix in with my restoration pieces. It's funny because she is actually not a huge fan of some of the restoration stuff. So I did the restoration for some of it, but then some we're doing custom pieces and um, we're changing some wall colors, changing some lights. So I just wanted to show you today because this is actually a really fun process. So they like drop off all these swatches. These are the curtains for your master bedroom go through and like they have marked curtains, curtains. So I get two choices. We already, and I don't know if I can show the sketches just yet, but I'll show them on the next vlog whenever I show you like the whole master. They sketched out the whole room with like build outs and different wall colors and different beds and different chairs and different tree, well all this different art. They sketched out two different options, 
and I chose the concept. So this concept that I chose had velvet, um, kind of this really royally feeling bluish greenish um, curtain. So these were my two options. So um, I had this option, which is, it almost pulls a little bit gray. It's kind of a green, um, but it's a, a kind of a muted green. Um, and I actually went with this one though. So this, I just, I love velvet. Velvet is probably my favorite medium if I had to choose. Like, I just, I feel like velvet is so rich and just so glam and luxy. I'm really just excited to do a velvet curtain. <laughs> it's the perfect kind of deep, pretty green so that you can just kind of see. Uh, this is the actual velvet too that will be the curtains. Once I picked the curtain color, then they gave me three different fabrics to make um, the chairs at the end of the bed. So we're getting a new bed, a white bed from, uh, it's actually from Restoration. Um, there was one from Serena and Lily, one from Restoration, and one from maybe Palace K that we were looking at, and you know me and my Restoration loves. So they gave me three different options to choose for the chairs. So I was supposed to hold them up to um, the curtains, they've already got everything all figured out. So then they like, they throw me two bones and they're like, here you go, which one do you want to chew for a while? <laughs> These are chairs that are going to be custom made from Mitchell Gold and Bob Williams. It's like a, honestly, it's a little bit of an overpriced store in Nashville, I think. But um, I've never gotten anything from there before because I couldn't really afford it. But here we are. <laughs> this was the first option for the chairs. This kind of cool geometric print. I um, actually really liked this. And I almost picked this. Um, it reminds me a little bit of like a designer bag in a way. Like Louis, I feel like has a print similar to this. Um, and it almost looked like Fendi a little bit, uh, like from a distance, which I really liked this. I felt like it was really clean and it went really nicely with that. It kind of pulled that, uh, it's almost got like a little bit of that hue uh, behind that lighter color. This was the next one. This was like my last choice. Um, I like this, but it reminds me a little bit of like an older home. And everything in my home, I kind of want to be fresh and modern and new. Well, I don't like like um, super like simple, clean, cold looking modern. I do, I do really like, actually no, I do like clean looking modern, but I don't like cold looking modern. So I don't um, typically go with uh, patterny patterns like this. They remind me of like a little bit of older stuff. So um, this almost looked like a fabric that I've seen at like antique stores and stuff like that, which it's kind of cool because it's almost like Asian inspired. This is not April's words. These are my words. I'm interpreting this in my own mind. <laughs> She's probably like, oh my God, that is not Asian inspired. And what are you talking about? That's not all that such a, this is just me talking about these things to you. And this is the one that I ended up going with. So it's almost like a, it reminded me of a little bit of a cross between an animal print and a tie-dye. And it was just simple and neutral enough, but it had a pretty cool pattern that was still a little bit minimal. And see, it goes really nicely, I feel like, with those curtains. And um, I'm really excited. So we had to get a really, really shallow set of chairs. And we like couldn't find them anywhere. April and them couldn't source them anywhere. So we were doing them custom from this store so they're pretty shallow they're kind of a circular chair and um one more thing so we went through several different designs. actually so they gave me the two different full out designs but before that even we had things hanging from the ceilings like things build outs floor to ceiling bookshelves like all of this cool stuff it's just like the designers that they are that's why they do all the stars rooms or homes because they just do this really cool stuff initially we were going to paint the walls a color that was almost similar to this it was almost like a royally feeling rich green I actually really liked it and it went with, we were originally doing a canopy bed, but then we were worried about kids pulling. And Kyle was like, no, I'm not. That was the one thing that he was like, nope, can't do the green on the walls. And we are like, it's not a green. It like pulled gray, but you know how men are and they just get an idea in the head and sometimes you can't get it out. So anyways, we are, we're doing a lot of cool colors and pops with the velvet curtains and you just wait until you see this art build out that we're doing. So we actually decided to do the walls white. So they're going from agreeable gray, which they are right now, which my whole house is, which pulls kind of tan. Um, 
to white in my bedroom and I think in the living room as well. Let me show you the new sectional that we got. This is a vendor piece. So a vendor piece means that this is a piece that you have to kind of go through an interior designer to source. And I'm proud of myself for choosing this instead of the million dollar cloud couch that I was about to choose. This sectional is has an amazing amount of room. Sorry, it's like so messy. Of course, I'm showing it to you right now. And April and like her entire team have this sectional in their homes because they have children. And apparently it's made of a fabric called Krypton. Krypton is a fabric that kids can basically like color a crown on or like wipe a magic marker on and you can like wipe it off. I was like, you know what? I was about to get that white cloud couch and A, it was like 15 to $18,000. That was ridiculous. This was such a good price because I got their pricing going through a designer. We're gonna like, you know, put a bunch of pillows on this and um, a bunch of really cool throws. We're doing some cool art on the walls. Um, we're changing the wall color, doing a different ottoman, doing a chair and all kinds of cool stuff in here. But I just wanna show you this really quickly because we ended up going with something that is more um, kid friendly, but um, we die for the amount of space that we have. It is so awesome. We really went back and forth with the sectional. I am so glad that we ended up going with the sectional. But that's just a little update and just kind of some things that I didn't know before about working with an interior designer. Um, I really didn't know the timeline. And you know something else really cool that they do really quickly before I uh, get off here? So when they do the stars homes, they actually store everything in this warehouse and they do an install day. And what they do is they go in and in one day, they put the whole house together. Every piece of furniture, every light, every, you know, whatever, every rug, they do it all in one day. But me, I, I wanted the pieces as they came in. So I was like, well, just send them to my house. And then that's why it looks kind of like mismatched right now. But in about five months or so, it's going to be looking grand. So I'm taking you guys through this process because I wish someone had kind of told me about this process. Um, and I wish there were more videos on the internet about working with a interior designer. So yeah, you guys check them out. Um, I'll write their handle right here. And in the description, April Tomlin Interiors is... Um, their handle and they just do the coolest stuff. I'm so excited to be working with someone like that on a house. So thanks for watching.